thing clear up front, I'm not a former vol. I'm a vol all the way. I'm your teammate. I represent every basketball player who's ever played here. We're still your teammates. We always will be. Uh, that's one of the great things about being in Tennessee. It's not a four year, two, two three, four year experience. It's a blessing for life. It's a lifetime chance and, and we stay together. We back you all the way. Um, before we go any farther, you saw some of the things. Any of us that have worn the jersey are brothers in basketball. And you noticed a couple of things. I want to pull up. I've got some things in the bag I want to show you. So a couple of things, you know, when we go back and look at uniforms, I look at your alls. And we had the thick cotton ones. And we did the same thing. Coach Ray Mears being honored tomorrow night. And he put things on the uniform that meant things to his players and his team just like you guys do. MT was mental toughness. The orange jerseys were worn by the first team. You earned those minutes with your practice and your performance uh, on and off the, the basketball court. Both sides on the other side, the white team, excel, says it all. You gotta excel in order to get minutes to get on the first team. Uh, I'm almost embarrassed to pull out the next. Uh, these are the shorts we wore. How do you like that for style? The good thing is, I can actually still get in those guys. <coughs> uh, the warm-ups, the same way. The Tennessee Orange, always warm with pride. I'll go back to this a little bit in a minute. I just wanted to share some of those things that, as basketball brothers, we, uh, we have together. Um, your coaches have told you the things, the values you need to have and what you need to do. How important it is your academics to get your degree. I got my degree and it's helped me immensely through my life. Uh, your responsibility to the community, to yourself, to your family, to your teammates, to your coaching staff, and to your university. So I'm not gonna take time. You, got, you could not have a better staff in place to teach you those lessons in life and the way you should behave as a college athlete. Coach Mears will be honored again tomorrow night was the same way. Strict discipline, represent yourself, your family, your team, your school in the right way. They do a great job of that. What I want to do is talk to you as your teammate from another generation. Uh, no eligibility left and no quickness. I, I, we wore ankle weights, coach, instead of the weighted vest. I don't think I could make it through practice with a weighted vest on you guys. Wear. So I want to talk to you about, from the heart, things about being a Tennessee basketball player. You know, you have a, a unique opportunity. And I, I didn't think about this much when I was playing, but you guys get to do what you love to do, and 20,000 people cheer you while you do it. You get a chance to have all the ball fans, hundreds of thousands of them, they're willing to hold the ladder for you. They'll give you their shoulders for you to stand on so that you can reach for your goals. Not just here, but you'll find it after you get out of here as well. It's been a decade since I played here. There's never a week goes by that somebody, I live in Nashville, and there's not a week goes by that somebody <coughs> doesn't want to talk to me about Tennessee basketball. 15 years or so ago, that didn't happen. You guys are part of making Tennessee basketball relevant again. People now want to talk about it. Coach Mears brought us to Tennessee he made basketball important to us. And within a very short time, he made us important to basketball. You guys are that way for the University of Tennessee now. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the main things about being a ball is the family. Our guys are all over the place. I got friends in Kansas City, Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Nashville. You know, one poor teammate, God, I feel for him, lives in Lexington, Kentucky. And, and he's married to an ex-UK cheerleader. And I pray for him every night, guys. Uh, the, the meaningfulness of being a Tennessee Vol probably will settle in for you more later than it does now. It'll afford you opportunities. It'll, it'll be a friendship thing for life. Your coaches, your staff, brought you here as a basketball player. They put you together as a basketball team. And you're becoming a family never leave each other. There's never a week goes by that I don't hear from one of my teammates, no matter where they are. We 
you've stayed close. You guys are going to go through life and you're going to know each other forever. You're going to know each other's wives. You're going to know children. You're going to know each other's grandchildren. It's hard for you right now to project that far ahead, but it'll happen. One of the things that's always there for championship teams, and I know you want to be one, you love teammates love each other. You have to love each other. When one guy's down, somebody's got to pick him up. If somebody's not making shots, somebody's got to make them. Everybody can play defense. I know you've heard that from somebody in this room. And you should all have that responsibility. Shots aren't always going to go in. Somebody's got to pick you up. You've got guys here that do that. That's part of being a part of a family and staying that way for life. Um, I want to just say a couple more things. I, I want to go back and say about being a champion team and loving each other. you got a big game tomorrow night. It's a ranked team. It's another chance for you to get a good win. Every goal that you had when you started this season is still available to you. Everything you dream of is still out there. Every game matters. Go into every basketball game with this in mind. Why not us? Why not tonight? Why not us? Why not now? Sometime or later in the year, there will be a game or two or three played in the Atlanta Superdome. Why not us? Why not this year? Every measurable from your team last year is back. Minutes played, points scored, rebounds, the experience is all here. You've had a couple of games where the shots weren't falling. They will. Keep your confidence. Boost your teammates. Take the shot when it's there. I want you to have as much success as you can have. And when I talk about champions, that's when it comes through. When you're down, you need some help, you need somebody to boost you up. And that is leads to, if you have success, it leads to something like this. This was the SEC championship ball right here. It's the actual basketball that was played with. Played at Mississippi State, and it's got Mississippi State in it. We won the game 78-76. This is 45 years ago, guys. I'm still hanging on to this. Went three overtimes, and it's a sophomore with seven seconds left. I was the guy that chose to foul because I was a sophomore and I missed one earlier. They went in this time, and we won this championship. Guys, that leads to this. This is where you want to be. Y'all are welcome to pass it around. I don't wear this very often. I'd like for every one of you guys to have one of these before you leave Tennessee. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I'm going to wear it in, uh, in honor of my coach, Coach Ray Mears. And I'm going to wear it for you guys. You're my teammates. And I speak to you from the heart. I want you all to be able, be able to achieve your goals and be champions as well. I'm going to close with one thing, guys, and this is, if, if you only remember one thing, remember this, because this can help you as a player. It can help your confidence as a shooter. It's true at Thompson Bowling Arena. It's true in Nashville. It's true in Lexington or Gainesville. It'll be true in the Georgia Dome. Remember this every time you go out there. It, it's not, it's something that should always be on your mind. It was on my mind every time I ever shot a foul shot. The rim is always on. You won't go any place where the basket is your color. It belongs to you. The rim is on. Guys, good luck. I'm proud to call you my teammates. Coach Martin and staff, thanks for having me here today. I'll be calling the game on TV for you guys tomorrow. Buckle down and go boss.